What's up guys? I'm Shane and welcome back to our North Texas College Football 25 Dynasty where I was just simulating forward a week to set it up for the next time I record, which is probably going to be tomorrow, but um we signed Jose Bobin Moyer. Uh we didn't even have to worry about the visit. He's coming in anyways, and it'll help like solidify it and hopefully give, you know, obviously give the complimentary visit bumps to the other people, but this guy could be our future, man. And I hope we can edit rosters. <laughs> because I want to change his name so bad. We won, but it it sucked, so uh, our brand exposure went down. So Sheffield is at risk of transfer. He's like... A terrible... Like he's like our fourth string wide receiver. And then the two right ends who are also backups, so... Not really anyone I'm worried about outside of the left guard here, Dixon. It's the only player who might transfer that could give me any sort of problems. See, the problem that I'm having here is this is what happened to me in the rebuild. TCU and Arkansas already have visits up. So if he still comes in for those, we could lose him to TCU. That's what I'm worried about. But 92 throw power, 85 accuracy, 81 medium, 93 speed, 92 excel, 83 on the run, 85 break sack. Magician, Option King, Headstrong, The Natural, and Field General. I don't know if the awareness goes up over time like it did before, or if that's just locked into 67 awareness, but... Otherwise... Damn, this guy could be good. Alright, for some reason we can't schedule him for visit, even though we're locked into his top five. So I don't understand. We can schedule the right guard for visit. I'm honestly at the point where they're probably just coming in for like... Bye weeks, and I'm just gonna play it safe. You want proximity to home? Same thing with you. You come right in on the bye week too. All right. So yeah, obviously you signed him. So these guys, I should just take them off the board. But I think I'm gonna finish today's episode against SMU, and hope that things go well. And then I'll probably reevaluate the board. But I want to lock up these people first. I don't want to keep adding more people on. So yeah, Stockton again, just because he's an athlete. And neither one of them are worried about playing time. So I can bring him in and Bobenmeyer. And either use both of them at quarterback or move one of them around. It would be funny the whole time I thought he was going to be, like, the future. And then it turns out Stockton slightly better. That would be my luck. But it's fine. And most of these guys, honestly... If we win, this guy's going to sign this week. Uh, this guy is moving into his top three. We're racing against Arkansas. We're running away with this guy. Got a decent lead on him, too. Flanagan, ain't no one want. So I go, I'm bringing him in for a visit because he helps complimentary. Again, he's a Juco halfback. But I need I need to reevaluate this board. I need wide receivers and probably an actual halfback prospect. Because I think offensive line, I'm bringing in probably the best of what I can do. This free safety I kind of want to bring in. But I don't really have the points right now. And this left end is a bust, but he'd still probably be better. But they're hanging around, so maybe I can take a shot at him later. All right. Uh, in the future now. <laughs> it's the next day. I'm pretty sure I finished going over recruiting. I hope I did. And I also am in a completely different room than I was before. I'm back in the old area where I set up. My daughter got sick of me stealing her bedroom. So we're back over here. And hopefully now I'm well rested and we're ready to take on SMU. Because even though we signed that quarterback, we still got that four-star tight end I'm trying to bring in. Actually, can I real quick... Okay, I'm glad I was checking around. So I'm actually looking for if it lists the rivalries anywhere. And it doesn't that I can find. It might be in here somewhere. If you guys know where it is, let me know. I have it on freshman skill right here. I didn't mean to. I was doing... A quick play or a play now or whatever i was trying to get uh screenshots for the thumbnail for that episode zero of the relegation league that i put up earlier today i'm assuming this is going to go up later on after that uh i put it on freshman just because again i'm hopping and grabbing the thumbnail and hopping out and uh, uh it carried over to here so varsity going back to varsity stated varsity okay i know some of you guys think that i should bump it back up and, you know, trial by fire. I don't do trial by fire. That's not how I learn. It's never how I've learned. I get more comfortable playing it. It's what I did with the original North Texas Dynasty. That first season, it was All-American. I jumped up to Heisman the second year. 
So this is just how I go about learning it. And basically because of everything, including, you know, real life, I don't have time to like sit here and practice for hours on end in between recordings. Like whatever time I have has to go into recording this. So you're just seeing my practice in real time. Um, SMU is a much better opponent than Jackson State or Jacksonville State. I shorten it in my head to Jackson State, and I gotta remember I can't do that because those are two completely different schools. Um, I'm not optimistic. I mean, at least we already got the quarterback, but I'd like the tight end too. Oh. And we got a rain game, which is funny because it's a massive thunderstorm out here. I put a clip up on Twitter and threw it in my Discord. The rain, it, like the thunder and the lightning, it was whatever. It, I live in Central Florida. We get lightning, but the thunder was ridiculously loud. Like it would have clearly picked up on the microphone. You would have thought I was recording outside. So that seems to have passed, but at least we're getting rain in the game too. My monitor's flashing black. Not the one I'm playing the game on, but the one that's capturing the recording. Um, we're good. Nope, oh, wrong button. I mean, I got the tackle, but I hit the wrong button. Alright, good stop by the defense. Watch it just be as simple as I was playing it on like a 60-inch TV, and now dropping back to just a regular monitor is going to help. Okay, defense with a quick three and out. Oh, you know what I didn't do? And I need to do in between. Okay, so Evans is our number two, but he's listed here. I'm going to kick him out for cow tie here. Take the dump off, take the dump off. Okay, cool. Sprint around the outside. Okay, yeah, Ragsdale came out. That's perfect. Ragsdale's probably better off, but I think I like the speedster, so it might come to a point where I actually consider good catch uh, swapping him out alright good snag okay there we go but I want to start breaking habits with me more so right now let me just I gotta practice staying in the pocket I gotta get comfortable staying in there staying in the pocket for a second there we go I didn't drop him back, by the way. That's just apparently automatically. I might switch playbooks after this. Uh, someone in the comments said the Auburn playbook's pretty fun. And I've also seen... God, I did it backwards again. I've also seen the Arizona playbook's apparently fun, too. So, one of those two, I guess. All right, Ward, I don't want you on a long developing route. I just want you on a slant right here. First down. Good catch, Ward. There we go. He keeps it that time. In for the touchdown. Good run, Ragsdale. He's not injured. All right. I need to get the timing of this right. Don't no, see. So you have to do it early enough for the delay. I don't know. I'm going to be missing a lot of kicks. Well, I hit the wrong button. It's okay. I had to change the possession, which was only the kick anyways. Come on. I want to call it Apogee. It is not Apogee anymore. I don't know. Was that little reticle thing? That wasn't there the whole time. Where's that coming from? We stopped him just short. I got in there, blew that one up. Okay. All right. See, I'm getting a little bit better now. We're going to get this back up to All-American anyways. Uh, okay, I did a fair catch. Crap. <laughs> I didn't see that blitzer coming in. Lead him in. And he hangs on, thank God. Ooh, barely missed that. So I'm going to hit L2. That's why I'm not spinning. i got to hold L2 down to do stuff. I should just sit down and read the controls. There we go. Scrambled out to the right. Ward came running across. 
You left them all open. In for a touchdown. We're going to take a two-possession lead. That's our first, right? And he's striking the Heisman pose for some reason. You ain't winning the Heisman, bud. But I am glad it's a pose now. Yeah, looking for Ragsdale here, honestly. Nope, never mind. Ward, the two-point machine monster. All right, back to a 14-0 lead. There we go. Okay, you know, it's a lot easier when, like, you know they're going to run the ball. Oh, read option. I, I, hey, I was supposed to cover the halfback in case it was a play action, I guess. Oh, I thought I was going to have to catch the guy deep. I did not. I should have just stayed closer up. Oh, okay, they're starting to figure it out now. Dang it. I had that, like, a read on it, but I got blocked. We were not ready for that screen pass, apparently. There we go. Okay, blitz. End of the first quarter. We're up 14 nothing on SMU, but they are on the red zone. Well, I called a blitz, except they're not... Oh, it is a... Dang it. But I called a... Oh, I should have seen the draw play coming. You know, I just realized, where's Sterling? My death chart is all over the place. Where is Sterling? Why is he not returning kicks? I feel like this was a mistake, but we're committed. Yep. We at least we get the throw out. Ward hangs on. I had to roll out just a little bit. I saw where the pressure was coming from. Good read option there. Instant first down. Quick drag route. Oh my god, the good blocks. I got too close to the sideline, though. I love that apparently I'm getting suggestions because I'm playing on varsity. Maybe that's what it is. But I don't remember seeing that last episode. Did I accidentally play on All-American in the last game anyways? I don't think so. Ragsdale bounced it outside. I should have paid attention to that with the juke. Oh, okay. I thought we were going to be able to run that to the outside again. Got stopped real quick. Does Coach know that, like, short passing plays exist, or do they not even exist in this playbook? It could just be that. Yeah, the RPO was the right play, keeping it with Ragsdale in for his second rushing touchdown. There we go. Don't need a lot of power. It's just a PAT. Ooh, I bit on that one. Well, at least it wasn't my zone that gave it up. Wow, that was into a blitz. Okay. They've adjusted. Good pass breakup. All right, that's what I need to see. Ooh, that was a good screen pass right there. Good time for it. Third and six. Oh, I thought I had a user pick right there. I'm starting to think I played Jacksonville State on All-American. Because I didn't have any of these little things, right? I I don't know. I was sleepy. Maybe I did, and I just didn't notice it. Yeah, I just went and checked. Uh, I definitely played Jacksonville State on All-American. Especially considering what that run just looked like. Also, I finally figured out what to do on the read option. Just give it to the halfback every time. Nope, okay. That's what I get for opening my mouth. One day, I'm going to get, like, a huge following. <laughs> and they're going to go through and clip all of this stuff to make a compilation of Shane moments before disaster. Woo. Drag route got out just in time. Now we're at the two-minute warning now. Oh, I didn't... I thought he was pressed, like, uh, I was free. We're going for it. Genuinely thought I was free there because I had circle coming across because I realized my dump off route was covered. <laughs> That's what I get for going for it. At least I got the tackle. Oh, good catch by that guy. Two people hit him and he still held on.
And okay. Well, we got we had to pay for it apparently. Take the dump off there. We still got some time. Run, hurry up. There you go, Ward. Good break off. Get out of bounds. Stop the clock. Jeez, every time. Time out. Ah, I overthrew it. Coach wants me to run. He doesn't want me to try and go for it. Quitter! Ah, oh, dang it! I had a receiver run open because they came after me. No, 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 no. I can't go out like that. Not when I bought time, had people down the field, and just didn't realize it in time to not go across the line of scrimmage. No, okay, well, I got hit. It's fine. I, it, it doesn't matter. They're going for a Hail Mary. We got 16 seconds to all three timeouts. I should probably be concerned, honestly. I have that. Dang. They're making me pay for it, huh? Alright, now they'll just go for a field goal. Should have just punted it. They'll really make you pay in this game. I thought for sure they'd just like try and like drain the clock. Oh, that's the end of the first half. We're down 21 7 or we're up 21 17 on SMU. We're not down. We're still up. We're good. Oh, I forgot we get the ball to start the half. Completely forgot about that part. Yeah, I think my problem with this playbook, I don't see really short passing. Or maybe it's just situational or they're not going to call it. But I would love to eat him up with slants. Yeah, I thought that would go for more. I wasn't even looking downfield. If I had someone wide open, I didn't even look. It's always that blitz from the right, from the left side. It's, it's the left outside linebacker. It's got to be a blitz, yeah? I'm punting it. I'm punting it. I've learned my lesson. Not a great punt, even on the sim. I could have probably done the same myself, honestly. Good job, defense. Oh, he took all day in that pocket. It is fourth and 17. The defense getting the sack. There we go. Wait for the blocks to set up and sprint right through. I'm telling you, I'm trying to break habits. Like, it's it's not the difficulty. I don't care. Even if we lose 100 to nothing every single game, but if I can break some bad habits, that's all I care about. Oh, crap. That wasn't the route he was running. I thought it was a dump off. I forgot he turned up. Yeah, I would rather just, like, learn. And this is how I learn. Sure. They're going to give him the first. Thank God. All right. Five yards is a good run. Five yards is always a good run. They don't have the, these ridiculously long 15 spin moves and a juke and a step back all in one run. Like, it's okay. Three yard pass, probably not the play. I shouldn't have let him short, but it's fine. I didn't slide. He didn't get the first. Nope. Okay, so wrong read. And we give him a short field. He ran right into my D lineman. Woo! I blew my zone. <laughs> I gotta stop playing the safety. That was 100% on me for being an idiot. All right, well now we're trailing. But honestly, it's the pressure getting there that's blown up most of the drives for us. Ward on a drag route is uh, is completely OP today. Oh, I found Quicksilence finally. You left them short, man. You left all that open on the, underneath. I'm under recent plays. I'm like, why does he keep calling the same plays over and over? He's under, I'm under recent. Oh, he dropped it. I don't even know how it got there. Okay, there's not a rollout in this anymore. That's what I... And NCA 14, there's a rollout attached to the Z spot a lot of the time. Fourth and inches. I'm going to make another bad decision. I don't care. Because now I've got the inside zone that I like, so I don't have to run a read option. And this play is usually good for three or four yards. This is the closest I've found a halfback dive so far. Yup. 
That guy almost blew it up in the backfield, but the offensive lineman, he recovered well. I don't know how I'm supposed to get these screen passes off. There's got to be another trick to it, because, like, I'm just dropping back and getting hit before I can even attempt the pass. I'll take this, thank you. Not a bounce. Oh, shoot. I was waiting for something else to develop. Size is just standing there by himself. Offensive line was tremendous on that one, though. And that is the end of the third quarter. We're down 24-21 SMU, but we're marching. Ragsdale is completely getting beat up. Everything hurts. Except for that foot. His foot's good. Whoop! Again, I thought he was going running the flat, and he, he did not. Because I was paying attention to the other parts of that play, and not the one who I ended up throwing it to. Come on, Ragsdale in. Okay. It was risky going for it there. His third rushing touchdown of the day. It does still say Apogee on there. So Apogee Stadium and the field is DATCU. Or is it Datku? I don't know if they... I don't know. There's still a giant Apogee sign there. Okay, good stop. Good TFL. Come on. Okay, he forces the drop. Okay, thank God. Which is good because we're right in that range where they're not going to go for it consistently. We got to put together a good methodical drive here, though. Try to do a manual juke. It, it didn't go well. That's not methodical, though. Again, the free blitzer just getting there. My god, the drag route. They never want to touch that tight end. Just about in field goal range, too. Good block set up there. We take it all the way to the two minute warning already. So I would assume they're going to go ahead and start taking timeouts and really blitzing the crap out of us, and that's fine. Another good run. That is actually perfect. If that only takes it to third and one, it does. It got blown up. That's okay. Now they are out of timeouts. Coach is saying go for it. I agree 100%. Ragsdale's been carrying us all day. And he carries us again. Go down, go down, go down. No, nope, they push us in. I didn't want the touchdown. I wanted to go down and kill the clock. Touchdown number four today. Really leaning on this guy. That's two straight weeks where he's been killing it. They got a minute 48, no timeouts. We're comfortable, but not that comfortable. Oh my god, I thought I thought Sterling got dusted on that one. No, that was perfect. I mean, he still got dusted, but at least he made a good recovery. Okay, see, that's what our defenders never did in NCAA 14. They would never just toss that hand up. They, you would just get beat if it went over your head. Fourth and ten. Coach, don't call the blitzes. And they, jeez. Good recovery by the defense. Yeah, we'll go ahead. We'll just kneel this one out. And that is it. We win the rivalry game by 11 points. I definitely could have played better, especially given the difficulty, but I'll definitely take that. We have eight wins in the series so far. That's not good. How many does SMU have? Because I feel like 100. Ragsdale killing it. 33 rushing attempts today. No wonder he's beat. I gotta figure out how to change, like, the substitutions, though, because he should definitely have been spelled more often. That's why he's always at the, like, on the verge of, like, a career-ending injury. 34, 276 yards, one touchdown, and one pick. I mean, that pick was on fourth down. It, it, was, it was a bad pass, but it wasn't the death of us. Rushing Ragsdale, 33 for 154, four touchdowns. Yeah, he was a monster today. Morris had 7 for 10, and Evans had 2 for 9. He, he definitely should have had more. Receiving Ward, killing it again, 10 for 110. The tight end, 4 for 48. I'm not I'm not going to try and pronounce his name, because he's honestly going to be like a third stringer, hopefully, next year. And I don't have to worry about it. Sides, 3 for 36. Ragsdale, 3 for 26. 
Conright had two for 48 in the only touchdown, and Hammond had one for eight. 14 pancakes by the left tackle. I would be lucky to see two in a game in NCAA 14. 14 pancakes. That is nuts. Blair with four, Peterson three, the tight end with two, Dixon, Ward, Moore, Hammond, and Evans all with one apiece. Allen was the leading tackler with four. You know what? I got to start doing this by total tackles. So Allen with nine total tackles, Wazlowski with seven, and Young with six. We're not getting that many solo tackles, but that's fine. I'd rather have it be a team effort. Two TFLs for Vilea. Dawkins at two with half a sack. Brown at two with half a sack. Dawkins really doesn't have a face. He doesn't... It's AI-generated faces. They still couldn't bother putting one on him. <laughs> I guess he's uh, someone who opted out of the game. Brown with a TFL, Young, and Anderson. No picks, no forced fumbles, and honestly, nothing on kick returns or punt returns to write home about. All right, so that's what varsity looks like. So, again, like, we, we played uh, Jacksonville State on All-American after all, and we eked out a victory. So I guess we're not that bad. I'll probably do one more game just to, like, get comfortable. Because what I like is it teaches you, like, where you should go in zone coverage and longtime viewers of the channel. I suck at defense. You guys know this. I suck at defense and zone coverage has never made any sense to me. And I might even, once I get sort of through this push over the weekend or whatever, and we start settling back into, like, one-a-day uploads, I'll probably start a second dynasty, like an offline one, just for me. And just run through on either freshman or varsity and just, like, mostly play defense and learn what the heck I'm doing. Maybe I'll actually get good at something in this game. But that's a pipe dream. It might never happen. But thank you guys for watching. Again, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Appreciate all the support so far. We got a lot more coming. But thanks for watching. I'm Shane. I'm out.